Okay, so it was a uh, court ordered. It was court ordered that I didn't make no negative negative uh, videos on YouTube, social media. But I will say this. I will say this. I wonder what God, Satan, and my family, my neighbors. Battle Creek, Michigan, America, the world. I wonder what y'all think about all together. What do y'all think about sexuality? Like, I mean, that really net this. I was just saying sexuality. But when you're grown, and you're 32 years old. If you ain't married, you're supposed to be dating at 42. You're supposed to be dating grown, grown woman at the age of 42. I didn't say, and, and I, everybody knows I want, I want to date grown, dying black woman. But, uh. I just wanted I wanted to get this like out of the way that I'm willing to date grown white woman but y'all y'all gotta be dimes Dime, good looking I mean well maintenanced expensive taste I really I really don't date I wouldn't date grown women that are overweight that don't take care of themselves they're like well, look at you, and you're, I'm like, look, yeah, look at me. All the damage done to my human temple is caused by other people, other family members, other people, uh, males and females I grew up with. That wasn't my, my parents and my spirituality and my sexuality is not, wasn't designed by me. My well-being for my human temple in, in this wor world wasn't of my making. I think I think it more leans to the devil than God. But let me let me tell y'all something. I got off probation in 2003, and I started doing my shit right. Like, or let's say legally and legitimately, appropriately. And oh, something must have took it the wrong way. It wasn't me. Just because I was in the system and I am in the system, that don't make me a bad person or a evil man or evil male. That 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 or evil male. That ain't you know. I'm not racist, and I don't I don't judge people for their sexuality. But people, people want to talk down on shit that happened in the past. It wasn't my, it wasn't of my making. You know, like 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 a lot of people say, where were the parents at? And that goes for a lot of children and grown adults that still have parents. Where were the parents at? Did the parents know this stuff was happening? You know, I'll be honest with y'all. I don't look all that great, you know, polished and gritty, uh, polished, um, but I, I have taken good care of myself, what, the food I eat, the way I go, the way I act when I go out in the community, how I present myself to grown women, and y'all, y'all just, I mean, Y'all, y'all just like cur these grown women, these grown white and black women, just curving the whole, the whole Christopher Gallier human temple for what? But I don't, you know, I I told them, you know, I'm not gonna be so upfront about the situation, but I think everybody knows. I think everybody does know. Now, how's this fair to me? How's this? How's this fair to me? How's this fair to me when I took care of myself and my money money management? 
I took care. I did. I did everything legally, le legitimately, and appropriately, my whole life. Listen, I will not date any any of age woman that are broke. I got an income. I I made over a hundred thousand dollars. I I got I ain't got time just because I'm in the system. That don't mean it's God's system. I'm I'm just I'm serious. I'm I'm not joking no more. I'm a grown ass male. I had too many people put my hands on me, their hands on me in the past, and too many people put their ha hands on me recently. I'm up for a fight. I mean, if people want to go there with it. I'm up for a fight. I really don't care. But when it but but when it comes to me dating grown woman, shouldn't be a problem. If other people can't handle it, that's their problem. I can handle it. They can't. Look. But anyway, I'm I'm kind of upset. Um, I just I did I did 18 days, like like kind of like kind of like locked up. This is my first weekend I've had since I've been out. I didn't get one call or one date from any woman in Battle Creek, grown grown woman. See is what? See, the thing is, when when I'm out public. Like I've been the last two years, people are like, dude, that dude, Chris, he's always alone. He never has no grown woman with him. And nobody, everybody in Battle Creek, we don't, we don't ever see this dude with any grown woman. And I'm like, y'all, what y'all, y'all thought I didn't notice that? Y'all thought I didn't know notice how, how these grown women in Battle Creek, are leaving me cur curving, curving my human tongue. They're curving me. There ain't no grown. I mean, I see, I see all kinds of grown black, black and white women all over Battle Creek. They won't approach me. They won't talk to me. Not nothing. I talked to talked to plenty of grown black women on social media, but I haven't had. I haven't got to date one black woman or any grown grown woman. It's kind of. It's kind of. It's kind of creepy to myself. It's kind of awkward to myself that I make money and I give I give grown woman, you know, grown black woman money on, on cash at. It's kind of odd to me how I'm 42 and I made a lot more money than a lot of people in Battle Creek. Like the thing is, on my $100,000 level, I'm below people that never, never had one check. They didn't deposit one check. I'm on a lower level than people, than uh, than uh, like people that ain't ain't so great, ain't so great with sexuality, and that's what that that that's even more awkward, creepy, about this neighborhood in Battle Creek. I mean, think about think about the shit I just said in the last nine minutes. When, you know, it's like this. I haven't had a decent date in 17 years. My point is, I don't, if, if it wasn't important for me to date grown woman, why would I be pressing it so much? Why, why, if it wasn't important, why would I be pressing the issue about me dating grown woman, especially black woman, so... Y'all gotta think about what I say. I already got over 600 videos. Y'all, y'all, y'all better do. You know, how do I want to say this? Uh, people in Battle Creek, Battle Creek, Michigan, in America, in the world, human beings, we haven't found any common ground. Expect there ain't any any grown black woman or any grown white woman that have found found common ground with me. That's what that's. 
Um, I just, I think, I think women just in life in general hate me. I think they really hate me. I think they really do. I think sometimes I think my family hates me. Sometimes I think my neighbors hate me. I think women that I dated in the past hate me. I think grown black and white women now in Battle Creek hate me. I mean, I think y'all just hate me to death. I really do. I really think y'all really, really hate me to death. I think, I, don't, I, I pretty much know.